This is our 1949 Pontiac Silver Streak delivery. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, be a very slow paced walk around to the outside, and then you'll see some video clips of the interior as well as the engine and underneath the car. So we're selling this car in consignment on behalf of a local client. The car has a pretty cool history. Uh, it was reportedly sold new in Pennsylvania to two women who owned a produce and chicken farm together. Uh, following their passing, the car was bought from their estate and restored to its stock form in Pennsylvania. Uh, it is the correct lake blue metallic, though this car has a uh, modified, you could call it, renovated gray velour, more modern interior. So after the car had been restored to its correct spec, it sold to a gentleman in Virginia who actually turned it into the resto mod that you see here today. Uh, he swapped in a 330 horse Chevy 350 crate motor uh, that was assembled in 2006, as well as a rebuilt 700R4 transmission. Cosmetically, really, really nice. There's a few minor blemishes you'll see here. Along the bottom of the passenger door, a couple little touched up scratches, minor chips. It's been driven about 5,000 miles since the drivetrain swap. You can see again, a couple little touched up chips. But uh, cosmetic condition, consistent with 5,000 miles of road wear. Very, very nice. You know, not a concourse car, but certainly show worthy. Body's really nice and straight. No dents or dings. The chrome was all restored, uh, most of it in 2016. So that stuff is all mirror-like. Very, very nice. Panel fitment is spot on. Light lenses are all clear and crack-free, not spider-webbed and aged, nothing like that. The windshield and side windows were actually replaced at the time of the restoration. There is receipts for all the chrome work. All four wheels were replaced, as were the hubcaps. Paint was done to a really high standard. On the, uh, the rear hatch, you know, the rear door, along the bottom, you can see some spots where there is definitely some filler under the paint. It's not cracking through, but it has a little bit of waviness to it. Again, that's on the bottom of the rear door. The rest of the car, really, really nice and straight. There's no dust nibs, no visible paint run, nothing like that. To the bottom of the driver door, again, a couple touched up scratches. Much like the passenger side, really the only spots of wear are along the bottom of the doors. When all the chrome was done, the uh, front hood emblem, which actually illuminates, uh, was also replaced. So all that stuff looks really, really nice. The weather stripping is nice and fresh. Out of the interior. Uh, billet steering wheel was installed. You can see there the controls for the vintage air. Uh, R134 air conditioning is functional, as is the heat. Blower motor is good. Kenwood radio and speakers are functional, and that is uh, AM, FM, CD, and aux as well. Even that analog clock in the center of the dash is functional. Wooden center console has been added. Gauges actually dolphin gauges, all functional. Odometer reads 54 and change, which is functional, but of course it's not correct. Headliner is clean and tight, sun visors hold their position, doors open and close nice and smooth. You can see the interior uh, has been kind of more modernized with some gray velour bucket seats. Comfortable and adjustable, in nice shape, just very, very minor wear. Gray carpeting, much of the same. Minor wear, good shape. And here is the rear cargo area. Very nice, you can see the original cluster there will come with the car, as well as a bunch of, uh, a bunch of the original trim pieces.
Tesla runs and drives extremely well. Road trip ready, no hesitations. Very, very well sorted. Underneath, you can see pretty major changes. Up front, full Fat Man 3 front clip, Willwood disc brakes, coilovers. The rockers were professionally repaired in 2016, and it'll come with records for that. Undercoated following that, the body mounts were also replaced at the time. Complete exhaust. Ford 9-inch rear. Really nice and dry. 